Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little jacket for boys and girls between six and nine months old. It's very easy to make. You can make it smaller or bigger. The one we're going to make in the tutorial, like I said, is for six to nine months, but you can make it smaller from a newborn baby and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's get started, but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. I'm going to use in the color blue to make the yoke, and then the rest of the sweater, I'm going to use white as well. And this is the brand of yarn that I'm using. This is a DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or eight ply. Now here to begin, I have 49 chains. This chain here is measuring without stretching or anything. It's measuring about 25 centimeters, which is about 9.75 inches. Now, if you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay. Continue with the first row. So here, to begin the first row, on the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, into this fourth chain here, make a double crochet. Now, these three chains here at the beginning counts as one double crochet. In total, I'm going to make seven. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. We have the chain, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Now into the next chain, we're going to make three double crochets. This is going to be one of the corners. So make three double crochets, one, two, three. Now before we continue, put a stitch marker into the second double crochet of these three that we just made. Now this here is going to be one of the front panels. We have the first corner. Now for the shoulder, we need to make seven double crochets as well. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's one. seven double crochets. Now into the next chain, make your second corner, so make three double crochets. One, two, three. Before we continue, put a stitch marker into the second double crochet. Now for the back side, I need to make a total of 15 double crochets. So into the next 15 chains, make one double crochet. Continue until we have these 15 double crochets for the back side, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 15 double crochets for the back side. Now into the next chain, make three double crochets. This is going to be the third corner. And before you continue, put a stitch marker into the second double crochet, which is the middle double crochet. Now we're going to make a total of seven double crochets, which is going to be for the second shoulder. That's one.
seven double crochets and into the next chain here make three double crochets one two three now into this second double crochet out of these three put a stitch marker and now we're going to finish here with these last seven double crochets one two three four five six seven continue finish this first row and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these last seven double crochets here now this is what we've done let's see in this first row we did six double crochets here plus the three chains here at the beginning i have seven double crochets then we did three double crochets then we did seven double crochets three double crochets 15 double crochets three double crochets seven double crochets three double crochets and then seven double crochets now make sure that you have a stitch marker just like I showed you here on each one of the corners into the second double crochet. It's very important that you do this, otherwise you're going to be lost uh, going forward. So here, for the second row, chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Make sure to go through both loops. Now into each one of these double crochets until we come to the stitch marker, we're going to make single crochets, but we're going to go through the back loop only. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here's the stitch marker remove the stitch marker and into this stitch here make three single crochets you can go through both loops here so that's two and three and before you continue make sure to put back your stitch marker into the second single crochet which is the center single crochet out of these three now we're going to continue along the shoulder and through the back loop, make these single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, remove this next stitch marker here and into this next stitch make three single crochets this is how we're going to increase for every row in these corners now make sure to put back your stitch marker into the second single crochet and then continue along for the back side and work these single crochets through the back loop until you come to the stitch marker here into this stitch marker and this stitch marker you're going to make three single crochets and then finish this second row in the same way back loop single crochets and then three single crochets here and then back loop single crochets continue finish this second row and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row now here at the end into the third chain here at the end make your last single crochet and this is how I finished this second row with a total of 63 single crochets. From here on, we are always going to increase by eight stitches. We have four corners. Our increases are done on the corners. So that's two, four, six, eight extra stitches at the end of every row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch they're just there so that when we finish the yoke there's a nice straight line here along the side now in this row i'm going to repeat the row of double crochets so beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops make a double crochet now into the next single crochets through the back loop only make a double crochet until you come to the stitch marker or the first corner so here i have 
one, two, three double crochets, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets. Remove your stitch marker and into this stitch here make three double crochets and here you can go through both loops of this stitch. Now before you continue don't forget to put back your stitch marker to mark the center stitch here which is the second double crochet out of these three. Now continue here and make one double crochet through the back loop till you come to the second corner. So that's two Eleven. Here's the stitch with the stitch marker. Remove that stitch marker and into this center stitch here make three double crochets. Now before you continue, return your stitch marker and mark the second double crochet out of these three here. And now you're going to continue along and work these double crochets. When you come here to these corners, you're going to do the same thing, three double crochets and make sure you put back your stitch marker and then continue and work these double crochets through the back loop until you come to the last single crochet. I will meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. At the end of this third row, I have a total of 71 double crochets. Now, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows. This row of double crochets and the row of single crochets. So for the fourth row, I need to repeat the row of single crochets. So to do this row, you're going to chain one and turn. Now, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet. And here at the beginning, you can go through both loops. I think it's best to go through both loops here at the beginning because once we do the edge here, we don't want to pull too much on those stitches. So make sure that you go through both loops. Now for these remaining double crochets here, we're going to make single crochets, but we're going to go through the back loop. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten single crochets. Remove your stitch marker and into this stitch here make three single crochets. That's one, two, three. Make sure you return your stitch marker and mark the center stitch here so the second single crochet. And now you're just going to continue along until you come to the next stitch marker. So into the back loop of the next double crochet, make a single crochet. That's two. Thirteen single crochets. Remove your stitch marker and again here make three single crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this row. Now you're going to continue along. Don't forget to put your stitch marker back into the second single crochet here in the center. So continue. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 79 single crochets. Remember that at the end of every row, we increase by eight stitches. And you're just going to continue from here on and repeat the two rows. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to have, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to have. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you the stitch count up to row eight of how many stitches you're going to have at the end of every row from here on up to row eight. Um, if it's more or less that I do here for the yoke, just continue watching. I think I'm going to do at least eight rows here. So for the fourth row, like I said, you're going to have a total of 79 single crochets. 
at the end of the fifth row, 87 double crochets, at the end of the sixth row, 95 single crochets, at the end of the seventh row, 103 double crochets, and at the end of the eighth row, 111 single crochets. Okay, so continue. Let's finish the yoke. And all you're doing is just repeating these two rows. I finished making the yoke. I did a total of 13 rows. I had mentioned to do eight, but no, do 13 rows. Eight rows was too small, so I decided to add a couple more rows. So now I do have the measurement that I need for the size that I'm making this for. Now I'm going to tell you how many stitches you need to have after row eight. So at the end of the eighth row, I said you should have 111 single crochets. Now for row nine, you need to have 119 double crochets. For row 10, 127 single crochets. For row 11, 135 double crochets. For row 12, 143 single crochets. And at the end of the 13th row, 151 double crochets, which is what I have for mine. Now the yoke is measuring about 11 centimeters, which is almost four and a half inches. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide for the sleeves. And before I do that, let me tell you how many stitches I have for each one of the sections. Now I'm going to give you the number of stitches between the stitch markers. I'm not counting the corner stitches there's four corner stitches so for the front panels you should have 20 so from here not counting the corner stitch up to here there's 20 same thing for this front panel 20 and 20 for the sleeves same thing the stitches in between the stitch markers I have 33 and 33 and for the back side I have 41 so if you add 20 plus 33 plus 41 plus 33 plus 20 plus 4 that's a total of 151 double crochets at the end of this 13th row. Now, at the end of the 13th row, I cut my yarn. I'm going to change color here. So what I'm going to do is the last row that I did, row 13, I worked on the right side. This here is the right side. This here is the wrong side. So we're going to go here on the wrong side and on top of the last double crochet that I did, insert your hook, grab a loop. I'm going to use this white yarn here. Now chain one into the same stitch here make a single crochet and go through both loops now we're going to continue with the pattern here so i'm going to work these 20 single crochets i already have one through the back loop of the next stitch make a single crochet that's two three Twenty. I have 20 single crochets here. Now I have this stitch here that's marking the center stitch. So what I'm going to do into this stitch here is I'm going to make two single crochets and I'm going to go through both loops of this stitch here. Now you should have a total of 22 single crochets for this front panel. We had 20, which is the two, so that's 22 single crochets. Now to divide the sleeve, chain five. That's two, three, four, five. I'm going to skip 33 double crochets. So we're going to count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. And into the 34th stitch, which is where I have my stitch marker for this corner, I am going to make two single crochets one and two so now we have divided the first sleeve if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve you can the important thing is that when we finish this first row i need this to be in multiples of three whatever number you have make sure that it's in multiples of three so here we're going to continue now for the back side and starting into the next stitch here through the back loop i'm going to make single crochets I'm going to do this until I come to the next stitch marker. So continue. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve. I finished making these single crochets for the back side. Now into this last stitch where I have the stitch marker, I'm going to make two single crochets. 
Now for the back side, including these two single crochets that I did here and the two that we did here, you should have a total of 45 single crochets for the back side. Now to divide the second sleeve, chain five. That's three, four, five. Now skip 33 double crochets, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. Now into the next stitch where I have the stitch marker, make two single crochets. And here is the second sleeve. Now continue along for this front panel, just making single crochets through the back loop like this. Here for this front panel, you should be left with 22 single crochets. Continue, finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we have divided the sleeve. I have completed this row now. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 89 single crochets plus five chains under each sleeve. Each one of the front panels, we have 22 and 22. And for the back side, we have 45 single crochets. So that's a total of 89 single crochets plus five chains under each sleeve. So now what we're going to do next is for the second row, I'm going to change hook size. I'm going to use this slightly bigger hook size, which is a four millimeter hook. If you're making this sweater using any other hook size, just go up half a hook size. So to begin here, the second row, we're going to start our pattern. So this is the stitch that I'm going to use. This is the poppy stitch in my channel. I'll leave the link up here and in the information box if you want to make a matching baby blanket. Uh, you can watch that tutorial it's very pretty and very easy to do it's just a one row repeat so let's get started here we're going to chain three and turn now we're going to skip one two and into the third single crochet counting from the beginning yarn over insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off yarn over take two loops off three loops yarn over take two loops off, four loops on the hook, close, chain two, single crochet. Now we're going to be making these little clusters. So now again, skip one, two, and into the third, repeat, yarn over, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, four loops on the hook, close, chain two, single crochet into the same stitch again skip one two and into the third grab a loop take two loops yarn over take two loops off yarn over take two loops off four loops close chain two single crochet this is how i'm going to continue until i come to the chains under the sleeve again skip two and into the third make your cluster Now for the front panel here, you should have, let's see, two, four, six, seven clusters. Now we have the five chains here under the sleeve and I still have one last single crochet for the front panel. I'm going to skip the single crochet, skip the first chain and into the second chain here, I'm going to work this cluster stitch. four loops, close, chain two, single crochet. Skip the third, fourth, and into the fifth chain here. Work your poppy stitch or your cluster stitch, however you wanna call it. four loops on the hook, close, chain two, go back in and make a single crochet. Now I have the first single crochet for the back side, skip the first and the second and into the third, make this stitch. Okay, 
loops. That's four loops, close, chain two, single crochet, and then skip again two and into the third, repeat your stitch. Four loops, close, chain two, single crochet. And that's all I'm going to do. Now continue until you come to the next five chains. Here you're just going to continue and count the stitches um, as if they were single crochets. Skip two and into the third, make your cluster stitch. I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now up to here, this is my last cluster. I have a total of 32. To finish this row, skip two and into the third, which is the last single crochet. Here, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row with 32 of these cluster stitches or 32 poppy stitch. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. Now we have the first stitch here, right next to it, we have the chain two space into this chain two space, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, four loops on the hook, close, chain two, and into the same chain two space, make a single crochet. Again, we have the second stitch, we have the chain two space, insert your hook, Grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, four loops, close, chain two, single crochet. One more time. Into the chain two space of the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, four loops, close, chain two, single crochet. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of this third row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row, you're just going to go here where we have the three chains and into the second chain here, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the third row. From here on, this is the row that you're going to repeat. This is a one row repeat pattern, so you're just going to repeat this row over and over for the rest of the sweater here. So to start you off on the fourth row, chain three and turn. Beginning into this first stitch here, right next to it, we have the chain two space, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, four loops on the hook, close, chain two, single crochet. Now repeat the same thing into each one of the chain two spaces here. Take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, four loops, close, chain two, single crochet. That's all we're going to do, so continue. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the body of the little sweater, but if you continue watching, I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the body here of the little sweater. I have done a total of 17 rows. I did 17 of these pattern rows, plus the row of single crochets that we did at the beginning. So that's a total of 18 rows. Now it's measuring from the neckline here to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 29 centimeters, which is about 11.5 inches. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to work the bottom of the sweater here. My last row here was worked on the right side. This next row is going to be worked on the inside. So chain one, turn, now, beginning on top of this last double crochet that I did in the previous row, make a half double crochet. Now, beginning into the first chain two space of this first stitch here, make two half double crochets. In the middle of these two, make a half double crochet. Again, into the chain two space of the next stitch, make two half double crochets. In the middle of the two stitches, make a half double crochet, two half double crochets into the chain two space, and in between the stitches, a half double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue for this first row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. 
I finished making these half double crochets along the bottom. Now for this first row, I have a total of 97 half double crochets. Now here I'm going to cut my yarn. So just pass your yarn through that last loop and pull it through. I'm going to use this light blue color here. So this row here, I worked from the wrong side. This next row here, we're going to work on the right side. So turn this over and insert your hook on top of the last half double crochet that I did. Bring this through, chain one, and then into the same stitch here, make a half double crochet. Now into the next one here, work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on just front post and back post half double crochets all the way to the end i'll meet you at the end of this second row i'm here at the end of this second row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets to finish go on top of the first half double crochet and make a half double crochet and this is how I finished the second row with a total of 97 half double crochets. Now for rows three and four, we're going to repeat the same thing. Chain one turn, beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now for this row, we're going to work these stitches in the same way. We have a back post half double crochet, so make a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do we're just going to alternate between front post and back post half double crochets and we're going to do this for a total of three rows i think i'm only going to do three continue watching i'll let you know how many rows i'm going to do but you're just going to do the exact same thing here you're just going to make front post and back post half double crochets i'm here at the end of this fifth row now here at the end just go into the last stitch and make a half double crochet and this is how i finish this part here it's all done now in total i did four rows of front post and back post half double crochets plus the row of half double crochets that we did here in white that's five rows here for the bottom part now what we're going to do next is we're going to work here on this panel i don't want to cut my yarn so i'm just going to continue along this uh let's see this is going to be the ripe front panel and we're going to work this row from the wrong side out so let's start here I'm going to chain one here at the end and now into this last row here work a half double crochet into the next row here at the end a half double crochet into the next row half double crochet into the next a half double crochet so here I have four half double crochets now I have the row that we did here of half double crochets in white make a half double crochet there now we have here the rows here of the pattern so we have the three chains here at the end and we have a double crochet into the chain three space here make two half double crochets into the row where we have the double crochet at the end make one so you're going to make two then one, two, then one. And this is how I'm going to work this part here. And now here's the row of single crochets that we did to divide the sleeves, so make one into that row. Now here for the yoke, we're going to work one half double crochet at the end of each row. So we have the row of double crochets and we have the row of single crochets. So make one here at the end into each row. Okay, here's the last row now I'm going to go into the row of chains here and make my last one so here let's see I have two four six eight ten twelve 
14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So I have 32 half double crochets for this part here. Now we have 2, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. So we have 46 half double crochets for this part. Now, if you're off by one or two stitches, it's okay. The important thing here is that you don't make too many. Otherwise, this here is going to be uh, longer than the little sweater. So now to continue, we're going to chain one and turn. Here we're going to do the same thing we did here at the bottom. We're going to do it here for this front panel. The only thing is that I think I'm only going to do a three rows here. So two rows of front post and back post half double crochet. So here for this row, I'm going to make a half double crochet on top of the first half double crochet. And then into the next, I'm going to work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet and so on now this is how i'm going to continue just alternating between front post and back post half double crochets until i come here to the end on top of the last make a half double crochet chain one turn and then uh, work your way up doing the same thing front post and back post half double crochets i will meet you at the end of that third row to show you what we need to do next we finished making this first front panel i did a total of three rows i'm here at the end of the third row here at the end on top of the last stitch i made a half double crochet now we're going to continue along the neckline so to do this chain one now here at the end make a single crochet at the end of the next row a single crochet and at the end of the third a single crochet so i have three single crochets now we have the double crochets here for the neckline into the first double crochet right here work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on here i'm going to show you what you need to do when you get to the corners where we have three double crochets so here are the first three just do the same thing continue with a front post and a back post half double crochet just like this and that's all we're going to do so continue all around the neckline. I'll meet you here at this other end. Okay, I'm almost done with the neckline. Now here's my last front post half double crochet. Here at the end is the last stitch. Just go on top and make a single crochet. And here is the neckline. It's all done. Now for the neckline, I have a total of 53 half double crochets plus this single crochet that I did here at the end and the three single crochets that i have here at the beginning now we're going to make this front panel here and we're going to do exactly the same thing we did when we did this first one here for me i had a total of 46 half double crochets for this first row so i'm going to make sure that i have 46 half double crochets here so to begin here chain one here is the last single crochet that i did insert your hook into that space and make a half double crochet there now we have the row of double crochets make one half double crochet there then we have the row of single crochets make one half double crochet we have the row of double crochets again here at the end make one and then the row of single crochets make one and so on for this part we only did one half double crochet for each one of the rows so that's all I'm going to do. So continue for this part. Once you're done here with this part, you're going to here into the double crochet space, we did one and into the chain three space, we did two. So one, two, one, two, all the way here to the bottom. So continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second front panel. I have a total of 46 half double crochets. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. 
Here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet. Beginning on top of the first, make a half double crochet. Now into the next one, work a front post half double crochet. Into the next back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. This part here is the same as the first front panel. You're going to finish this row at the end you're going to have 46 stitches chain one turn and then work the third row in the exact same way continue finish this second front panel i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making the second front panel here at the end i just finished by making a half double crochet on top of the last one i cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done i already hid my ends here on the inside so the front panels are all done this is how it looks now if you notice i did not add any buttonholes here to the front panels the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets that we did are big enough for buttons to fit through you can use 9 10 or even 11 millimeter size buttons now what we're going to do next is we're going to make the sleeves i already went ahead and did this side now you're going to do exactly the same thing when you do this side it's done exactly in the same way and it's easy so let's go here under the sleeve facing me this is the right side so we're going to go right under the sleeve now here we have five chains these are the five chains that we added when we were separating the sleeves i am going to use this 3.5 millimeter hook which is the original hook size that i used to make the yoke so if you're using any other hook size just go back to your original hook size uh, the one that you used to make the yoke so here to begin we're going to find the middle chain here we have five so into the third chain for me it's this one here i'm going to insert my hook but we're going to work this row from the wrong side out because we're going to continue with the pattern here so the row of double crochets was done on the right side so the row of single crochets is going to be worked on the wrong side so find that third chain for me it's right here so it's in the center and i am going to continue with this blue yarn I'm going to grab a loop, bring it through, and chain one. Now into this same stitch space here, I'm going to make my first single crochet. Here, what I'm going to do is, uh, for this part here where I have the five chains, I'm going to add a total of six single crochets. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that you end with six single crochets here. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to make three on this side and then three at the end. So let's do the second one. The second one, I'm going to go into the next chain. So right here where we have this stitch pattern, and I'm going to make my second single crochet. Now my third single crochet, I'm going to go into the stitch where I have the stitch marker right there, and that's the third single crochet. Now we have the first double crochet out of the 33 that we left for this sleeve. Into the first double crochet here, through the back loop, make a single crochet and into each one of these double crochets you're going to make a single crochet but make sure you go through the back loop we're going to continue with the pattern here and this is all i'm going to do here all around i will meet you here at the end of this first row to the first sleeve to show you how we're going to finish it I'm here at the end of this first row for the sleeve. Now here at the end up to here, this is the last double crochet. I have a total of 36 single crochets, including these three here that I did at the beginning. Now I need to finish with 39, so I need to make three more. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go into this single crochet row, which is the row where we divided for the sleeves and make a single crochet into the next stitch here or into the space that would be up to you i'm going to go into the stitch here and i'm going to make my second single crochet then my last single crochet into this last stitch pattern there make a single crochet so here are my last three to finish go on top of the first single crochet through both loops and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finished the first row with 39 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Here, whenever you have to do the row of double crochets, you chain two and turn. When you have to do the row of single crochets, you chain one and turn. So here we need to do the row of double crochets. So we're going to start into the next single crochet. The next single crochet 
is right here, not this one here, this one here. If you go into this first one, which is the stitch where we joined, you are going to be adding an extra stitch. So don't go into the one where we join. Do not go there. Go into the next one right here. So this is where you're going to make your first double crochet and always through the back loop like this. And that's how it looks. Now into the next, through the back loop, make a double crochet, double crochet into the next and so on. This is how you're going to work the second row, just double crochets all around. I will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you how you're going to finish this row and then how to start the row of single crochets again. And at the end of each row, we're always going to have 39 stitches. I'll meet you at the end of the second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where I did double crochets. Now to finish here at the end, we have the last stitch here. So into this last stitch, make a double crochet. So now at the end of this row, I have 39 double crochets. Now to finish the row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch right here. Make sure you go through both loops. And here is the second row. From here on, these are the two rows that you're going to repeat. The row of double crochets and the row of single crochets. And you always go through the back loop and you always turn for each row. So to start you off on the third row, chain one and turn. Here we're going to make single crochets. So into the next single crochet, this one here, right there. Insert your hook and make a single crochet, single crochet into the next and so on. Make sure you go through the back loop so that you can keep the same pattern. That's all we're going to do. Now to finish this row, you're just going to go here on top of the first single crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing we did in the second row. And that's how we're going to continue for the rest of the sleeve with 39 stitches. Now if you want to add more stitches here so that this part here is wider, you can. That would be up to you. Now, here I did a total of 25 rows. My last row here is the row of single crochets. So continue, finish these 25 rows, and then I'll come back and show you how to do the cuff. I finished making these 25 rows. So from here where we did the row of single crochets, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 rows. My last row here is the row of single crochets. Now, what we're going to do next here is the cuff. For the cuff, I did a total, let's see, of four rows. I did one row of half double crochets and then three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. So to do this, we're going to go here. Here at the end, I joined to the beginning, cut my yarn, passed my yarn through that last loop. So this next row, we're going to work on the right side. The last row I worked from the wrong side. So we're going to go here on top of the last single crochet that I did before I joined, grab a loop there, chain one, and into the same stitch here, the first one, make a half double crochet. Now into the next, through the back loop, make a half double crochet, and on each one of these single crochets, make a half double crochet, make sure to go into the back loop also. So continue all around, I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this first row here of half double crochets. I have 39 half double crochets. To finish, just go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows two, three, and four, we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So chain one, beginning into this first stitch here, work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on you're just going to continue like this all around alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet to finish this row you're just going to go on top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch chain one and then do the same thing for rows three and four front post and back post half double crochets Continue, let's finish this part. This is how it should look. Three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
I finished making the cuff. Here at the end, I just joined the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. And the sleeve is all done. And this is how it looks. Now, you're going to do exactly the same thing that I did here. You're going to do it here on this side. It's done exactly in the same way. This little cardigan here is all done. Look how beautiful this looks. Stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and make the exact same sweater, but I'm going to go ahead and add a hood. So stay tuned for that. So now let me give you the finished measurements. Oh, before we do that, I went ahead and attached my buttons. These buttons here are 10 millimeter size buttons. Now, if you notice, I did not add any buttonholes here to the front panels. The spaces in between the rows of half double crochets that we did are big enough for buttons to fit through. You can use nine, 10, or even 11. 11 millimeter size buttons. I used five buttons. So let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 32 centimeters, which is about 12.5 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 21 centimeters, which is about 8.25 inches. Now the width of the sleeve, just the top, it's measuring about 9.5 centimeters, which is about 3.75 inches, the length. From the top of the neckline to the end here, it's measuring about 31 centimeters, which is about 12.25 inches. And this measurement here right across, it's measuring about 13.5 centimeters, which is about 5.25 inches. Now the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. So based on these measurements, this little sweater here is for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from a newborn baby and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Thank you so much for your support. Now, this was today's tutorial. Comment below and let me know what you think. Tell me if you want me to make you the matching pants or a little hat. I'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all, so make sure to comment. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.